Jesus called Call them one by one, one. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew, and Bartholomew. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. James, the one they called the less, Simon, also Thaddeus, twelfth apostle Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. It can also be James, the son of Albius. Wait just a second. We're going to sing this song right here about the ten plagues. All right, Carson, here we go. The words are at the bottom. All right, I'll do it then. We're not getting the sound, Carson. Okay, here we go. I should have my phone up, bro. Oh, we're not going to get it. Oh. Can you get the sound for me, Carson? I have the words. I have, I was going to. If you can, if you can't, then I'll. All right, magic sound. The magic sound, man. Bye. I have it on my phone. Turn to blood, they could not, I could drink. Frogs everywhere, and they then the cattle died. Pharaoh just said no, he would not let them go. Boils up upon their skin and on everybody's kin. Hail upon the ground so that food could not be found. Locusts swallowed up. Egypt said, hey, we've had enough. But Pharaoh just said no, he would not let them go. Three, three dark days of woe and they could not see their toes. Firstborns all died, then all the people cried. They now knew that God was the Lord and the only God. They know who to fear, so go get out of here. <laughs> all right, so we'll work on that one. We're going to sing it again at the end. Water. Let's see, I can almost do that. Okay. <laughs> Outtake. All right, pause that. Go back to the beginning, Carson. All right, who, how many books are in the whole Bible? Six, Way to go, Ari. How many books are in the Old Testament? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. How many books are in the New Testament? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Who was the first man? What was his name? Adam. Adam, that's right. Who was the first woman? Eve. Eve. Who built the ark? Noah. Noah, that's right. So why don't we sing about that just a second? We'll sing a couple of verses. The Lord told Noah, there's going to be a bloody, bloody Lord. Told Noah, there's going to be a bloody, bloody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky board. Told Noah to build him an arky, arky build it out of gold for barky, barky children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. There's a whole lot of other verses we're not singing them, but so how many? How long was Moses on the ark? How long was Moses on the ark? Thanks, guess best. Moses wasn't on the ark. Noah was. Just, just that All right. Joseph's family, remember where our Bible story we read recently about Joseph going down to the land of Egypt, 
and he was a slave down in the land of Egypt. He rose to second in command, and he took care of all the families, and Joseph's family came down there to buy grain, and then they all moved to Egypt, and they lived in Egypt for about 400 years, and there was multiples and multiples of families and people, and the Pharaoh came in power that got scared of all these Israelites, and so he enslaved them. <coughs> And Moses was born, and Moses went to Midian and became uh, the son-in-law of Jethro. And he, and he was walking along one day, and he saw this bush that was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. And who spoke to him out of the bush? God did, that's right. God spoke to him, and Moses was talking to him. And, and so God told Moses he wanted him to go back to the land of Egypt and do what? What was Moses supposed to go back to Egypt and do? Free the Israelites. That's right, Alistair. Free the Israelites. And did Moses want to go back there? No. No, he didn't want to do that. So God said, throw your stick or your rod down on the ground. And what happened? It turned into a snake. Yeah, it turned into a snake. Now, don't do this at home. <laughs> you see a snake on the ground, don't try to pick it up by its tail. Bad choice. But Moses did. He picked the snake up and it became a stick immediately, just like that. And that's one of the things that he did when he went, home, went down to Israel and showed Pharaoh. And his magicians did the same kind of thing, but not what it was. So did, did Moses obey God? Yes. Yes, he went down to Egypt and he freed the Israelites. And while he was in Egypt, he, he through God's power, told Pharaoh, these things are going to happen like water turning to blood, frogs coming all over the whole land, lice and flies and the cattle dying, all of that happened, their boils on their skin, the hail on the ground, the locusts ate up all the food, there was darkness, and then the death of the firstborn. So that's the song. We're going to sing it one more time. Let's wait to see if I can do this. Water turned to blood and they could not take a drink. Frogs hopped everywhere and they really made a stink. Followed by the lice and the flies and the cattle died. But Pharaoh just said, no, he would not let them go. Boils upon their skin, on an everyone, everybody's kin. Hail upon the ground so the food could not be found. Locusts swallowed up, Egypt said, hey, we've had enough. But Pharaoh just said, no, he would not let them go. Three dark days of woe, and they could not see their toes. Firstborns all died, and then all the people cried. They now knew that God was the Lord and the only God. Now they know who to fear. So let get get so so go get out of here. We'll have all the words. I have them on there next week. But anyway, I try to do it so I can learn it. Now we'll learn it. All of us are learning this song together. So we know what happened. What was the first plague? Uh, water, water turned to blood. What's the second plague? Frogs. Frogs hopping. The third plague is lice. Then there's flies. Number five is the cattle died. That's right. Then what happened on their skin? Boils on their skin. That's right. Then the locusts swarmed in. They ate everything. And then what happened? That's right, three days of darkness. Very good, Alistair. And then what was the last plague, number 10? The first That's The first one. So the, that's right, the firstborn died of all the Pharaohs. Now, whose families did not have their firstborn die? What did they do to save that? Did we talk about that yet, or that's next week? Preview to next week. <laughs> next week. What did they do, Sid? They sacrificed the lamb, and they took the blood and put it over the doorpost. So we'll know that for next week. Thank you.